It's all like, hey, mamma mia, hey, grazie. Kind of American Italian style. Whoa, what time is it? Oh, I might need some. Whoa, that's the wrong button. <laughs> that's the light. I'm going to put my side lights on because it's starting to get a little bit darker. I may find a rest stop actually at some point soon and um, just rest up and sleep through the night. I mean, get some more of this nice scenery. Uh, all my hardware, recording information, microphone, software, blah, 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 blah. PC specs below the Twitch on my Twitch page. There's a lot of info on my Twitch page. Uh, one of the things you need to look for in particular, yeah, the chat rules. Make sure you're aware of the chat rules. Any news on the sub button? No. So what I thought I'd do is just to make absolutely sure Twitch have no valid excuse for denying me a sub button, right? Or for accepting me a sub button. I'm going to stream today, tomorrow night, Sunday night. That will give them at least two weeks of me streaming four times a week and getting well well over 500 viewers. Now, if they refuse me, I'll call bullshit on that. I'll call bullshit on it if they refuse me. So anyway, I'm gonna, bottom line is I'm going to apply on Monday. I'm going to stream for the next three nights and apply on Monday. I'm pretty sure I'll get it then. Pretty sure. And after they give me that sub button, the next question I'm going to ask is, can I please have 480p? Because I know you guys want a 480p option. But I'm only going to ask them that after I've got the sub button. I'm still struggling for ideas, guys. I need I need ideas for um, icons. So I'd like to ask for five icons. So one of them is going to be my little squirrel logo, which I'm going to have for everybody that's a squirrel subscriber. So you'll get my little black and white logo. Uh, another one I'm probably going to do is a front-facing Scania truck. Uh, so that's two, but I've got... I need at least three more ideas, and I can't really think of any good ones. So if you do... I, I don't like the nut. Because it's squirrel-related already, isn't it? I've already got the squirrel logo, I don't really need a nut. And I've got the truck. So I've got the, the squirrel icon, I've got the truck icon. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys, I'm pressing the wrong button here and trying to reach out as well, go around the corner. Doesn't work. Um, I need ideas, basically. I need ideas. I don't broadcast with XSplit, I broadcast with OBS. Why would I have a pizza? I oh, I know! A banana milkshake! Yay! I need to get a banana milkshake, don't I? And how about a bowl of custard with some apple pie or something like that? I definitely need to get a banana milkshake. I could do a steering wheel, I suppose, yeah. A truck with a pizza wheel. <laughs> Use a trailer logo for the guys who donate. A trailer. The thing is, it's only 18 by 18 pixels. So that's not... It's not... You know what I mean? You can't do... Um, it needs to be a square thing, really, not rectangular. And a trailer's rectangular. What's going on with the gears? So a trailer isn't the right shape. Squirrel equals legend should be a logo. <laughs> I'm going to do the squirrel logo. That will be the subscriber thing. Well, either that or the Scania. No, let's go for the squirrel. Let's go for the squirrel, yeah. I think so. You want to see my face? You can see my face. Go to facebook.com. Slash to Squirrels Nuts, click on photos, and I am there. What time are you finishing streaming? I have no idea. Sub badge 18 by 18 pixels max, emotes 28 by 28. I did not know that, Chris. Hang on a minute. So you're saying the subscriber icon can be 18 by 18, but all of my other icons are 28 by 28. That's interesting. I didn't know that. And I'm so glad you said that. Your Eurotruck videos are epic, mate. Thank you. There's a rest stop here. I'd like to rest, ideally. Allegedly, there's a rest stop here. This is quite heavy. You can tell this is heavy just by the actual braking. 
How much do you pay for a toll? It was £58 then. It kind of varies depending on how far you've, you've gone. I take it this is the rest stop over here. I'd never actually used a toll road rest booth. Oh, there we go. 8pm, that should put it at roughly, what, 4am, I think? Check the front page of Twitch, it will tell you. There we go, parking brake, neutral, engine off. Let's have a quick look. It looks good, but it's not pulling too well. We have got two tractors on the back, so or two diggers. Like I say, I'd have to do a side-by-side -side comparison with another truck just to see if that struggles, but this one's not coping very well. If we end up having to go up to some up some big hills, then we're going to have a problem. Starting off in second on a flat surface. Need to get to about over 1500 RPM just to get the power, it seems. That's what it feels like right now. I don't stream on YouTube because the chat on YouTube is shit. It's absolutely crap. The video image and the audio, brilliant on YouTube when you stream. The chat setup, rubbish. And when I queried this um, over 12 months ago with uh, Machinima, who's my partner, they said that YouTube, Google were plowing a load of money into YouTube to get the streaming set up properly. And that they were putting some stuff in by the end of last year and I have not seen anything implemented whatsoever. Shannon is Sacrio's girlfriend, Chris's girlfriend. Don't need fuel. Nope, I don't need fuel. Will you play Farming Simulator 2013? I have answered this question a number of times. No. I'm not into agriculture. <laughs> just because it has machinery doesn't make it appealing. I'm just not into planting crops. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh. I need to I need to get a change of seat somehow because this one I have to use from the dining table is not that comfortable when you've got to sit on it this, this much time. It actually starts to hurt your back and your backside. But all my other ones, all my comfy chairs have wheels. And wheels are no good when you start pressing on pedals because you just go backwards. You still got a ZX Spectrum. That's cool, dude. One day you won't be able to even use it, I don't think. What's the best advice for newbies on YouTube or Twitch? The best advice is uh, I can give you is don't think that it's it's easy. Don't think that your channel will just suddenly explode. Don't think that people would flood to watch your stuff. And don't think for one minute that you won't have to put a lot of effort into it because you will. You have to learn a lot of stuff and you have to put the time in. It's taken me three years to get to this point. A lot of hard work. So, don't do it unless it's for the long haul. Bobo Monkey 31 has sent a delivery. And he says, Hi, I just donated $50. Wow, thank you, sir. That is very kind. And I'm a big fan of yours. And greetings from Canada. Um, awesome. That, that's really good. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. It's very kind of you. Uh, you don't need to put the amount in the text because I can already see what you've donated anyway. Um, but I will change all of you guys chat colors anyway after the After this delivery, I'll change the chat colors and then I'll be seeing what the guys are doing Because I think we're gonna play something where we shoot some people after this After we've completed this delivery to Denmark like I say I will stream tomorrow night. So what I'm hoping to do is uh, get the Scandinavian mod working so I, I hope I hope Tomorrow night stream, I'll be able to stream Scandinavian mod. So that'll be cool, especially all my guys, all my fans from Sweden and Denmark and Norway. It'll probably be really chuffed because they'll actually be driving around a load of their, their um, places they'll recognise the name of. Yeah, Sakril's streaming FTL because he's waiting for me to finish this delivery. I did tell him it was quite a big delivery. But once I finish this, then we'll uh, we'll stream something else. I don't know what we're playing. It's going to be either Payday 2 or DayZ, I would imagine. To see what people's mood is. Don't forget, pay t Payday 2 releases next week on Tuesday, I think. Yep, 
You're from Norway. <laughs> cool. I have a lot of guys from Norway, actually. I seem to have a lot of guys from Norway. Which kind of ma makes me wonder if you guys from Norway are quite into trucks. I don't know. I'm curious as to why there are so many from Norway. Wow, this trailer's heavy. Yeah, no, I know there's guys from Denmark and Sweden as well, absolutely, but I, I do know of quite a few Norwegian guys. Scottish! I'm gonna get past this guy. Where is that dude? Is he buggered off? He's buggered off. There's a 100k speed limit down here. Norway, etc. Big into trucking, racing. Ah, there you go. Finish. Finish as well. Awesome. Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and Finland. Amazing. I know there's loads of guys from the UK, USA, Canada, Australia. Uh, I, I know about all those guys, but... I'm always curious as to where people come from. I seem to have a... F a properly international following which is it, it amazes me when I stream how many different time zones we get in the stream as well like for some people it must be early mo early to early morning it must be like early in the speed camera I think oh no must be in the early hours the Netherlands yeah well you see you're in Europe so it's easy to watch a stream when you're in Europe how many here's a question Here's a question. How many people watching this stream are actually at work right now? They're actually watching this at work. Because I've heard there's a fair number of people do that. They bring my stream up while they're at work. There you go. There you go. I knew it. It's so funny. How are you getting away with it? You must have um Are you in like a room on your own or do people not care or what? How does nobody see you watching a live stream while you're at work? That's brilliant. Apple, you're the best. How long have you been on tonight? Uh, you're at work. Look, there's loads of people at work. How long have I been on tonight? An hour and a half? Is that no? An hour? I don't know actually. I think it's just over an hour if I had to guess. Oh, you're playing ETS2 whilst watching ETS2. Surely you can't play, you can't drive and watch at the same time. You can't be reading chat like I do. You think about what I have to do, it's quite funny. I have to drive this truck, pay attention to what I'm doing and the gears, and read the chat, and respond to it. It's not easy, I tell you. Time in the UK is 8.08pm. Right now. Oh, you're the best ever, where are you going? Thank you, and I'm going to Denmark. At the moment? I'm going to Denmark in this DAF. Which feels a little bit overpowered, but like I say, it's a 500 brake horsepower engine, and it's struggling to pull 26 tons of, of diggers right now. So most of Europe is plus one hours on UK, so... It'll be 9.09 in, the, in Europe. But as you go further east, that starts to increase, doesn't it? Yes, we have daylight saving time in the UK. Yep. So when it gets to October, we will uh, drop back one hour for winter. And the easy way to remember that is spring forward, fall back. So... In spring, we spring forward one hour, and in fall or autumn, we fall back one hour. That's how you remember it. That's how I remember it, anyway. Will you play Formula 1 2012 or 2013? So, if you look on Steam today, you'll see that Formula 1 is actually on a 75% discount. So I went and bought it for a laugh. So I'm going to give it a go. I don't know if I'll stream it, I'll give it a go. I don't know if anybody really wants me to drive Formula 1 cars and stream it. I could be wrong, but... 
I want to try my steering wheel with something else though, so I bought that because it was on, on a big offer. You're a truck driver from the USA driving a Mac and have a Microsoft trailer. You have a Microsoft trailer on me. What's a Microsoft trailer? I've been working in a UK Scania electronics company. Ooh. Did you get any goodies? Did you get any like stuff with Scania badges and Scania pens? Formula 1 2012 is really funny if you're interested in Formula 1 from before. I used to play Formula 1 back in like years and years, like in the 90s I used to play Formula 1. The graphics were a bit basic back then compared to now but you know at the time they were really cool. Look out the window, drive over the rumble strip. I think we're about to, yeah we're about to change road. He's driving a Mack truck and hauling a Microsoft trailer. Ah, I get you. Sorry, I misunderstood. I get you. Well, you've got a mod that's a Microsoft trailer. <laughs> you should totally do Formula 1 2012 and 13 when it comes out. What part of Norway are you in? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look where we are. Not in Norway yet. We are just west of Zurich, which means we're going through Germany and Austria. Heading up to Strasbourg, Mannheim, Kassel, Hanover, up into Hamburg, Kiel, Flensburg, Kolding, and Aarhus, however you say that. So we've still got quite a way to go. Quite a way to go. I did tell you this was going to be a big drive. Favourite Formula 1 driver and team? Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I kind of like drivers who are not cocky little bastards, basically. <laughs> Delivery from... Adriel Dragon. Adriel Dragon. Interesting. Is that from a book you read or something? You're the best. Greet... Well, thank you for your delivery from Brazil. Greets to you too. I was going to say something and I've forgotten what it was now. Uh, yes, I use OBS. I don't use XSplit when I stream. OBS is free and pretty good. Pretty solid. XSplit used to crash. OBS has been good to me. I quite like it. How much do you have to pay to get the coloured name? The minimum delivery you can send is $5. And you will get a coloured name change for $5. There you go, that's all the different colours. Oh, I think I want to go this way. Bugger. Reading the chat and not paying attention to the lanes. Like a boss. Let's see if the daft can get around this hill, shall we? Squirrel lived in the 90s. Of course I lived in the bloody 90s. I had a ZX Spectrum, for God's sake. Of course I lived in the 90s. There, can you see the little red crash barrier lights on that? You can see it going past. Fuck. You see it going past there? Oh, hello. I think the trailer just scraped against that lamppost and stopped the truck. I was trying to show you that. That's the red crash light um, mod. You can get different ones for it. You can. You, there's about four in the pack. You can get like a yellow or a white. It's up to you. I kind of like the red one. Oh, that was it. Favorite, favorite. Right. I don't really have a favorite team anymore. Um, but I do have some drivers that I like. Uh, so the drivers I tend to like are skilled drivers, but they're not, you know, like arrogant and they don't barge people off the track and that kind of thing. Um, I wasn't so sure about Mark Webber, for example, but then I saw him on Top Gear the other week, and it turns out he's actually quite a nice guy. So I kind of like Mark Webber now. At first, I thought, at first I thought he was a little bit arrogant, but I understand they have to be competitive, but you don't need to be an ass, you know? You can still be a nice person. I didn't own a Commodore 64, no, Whiteland. Um, a friend had one, though. Uh, quite like Lewis Hamilton. I think he's very skilled, but he, he's kind of turning into a little bit of a whiner in some respects. So, 
but he's British so you know I have to support him <laughs> and um, Sebastian Vettel he's a nice guy really nice guy and he's very talented as well so quite like him I didn't own an Amiga I had a an Atari ST I never owned an Amiga so I, I had an Atari ST and a friend of mine um, had a Commodore Amiga and I used to get really annoyed by the fact that this great game that we used to play called Ports of Call was only available on the Amiga and it used to piss me off so I used to go around his house just to play Ports of Call uh, I can play GTA 4 but I'm not going to uh, and obviously I won't be playing GTA 5 because they're not going to release it on the PC for god knows how long Vettel can do one <laughs> I think John's not doesn't like Sebastian Vettel that much, apparently. If John could have his own way, Phil Collins would be a Formula One racing driver, <laughs> and then he could support him while listening to his music. I've not been to the U.S. at all. I've not been to any part of the U.S. or Canada. I've watched NASCAR. Uh, don't mind NASCAR. It's not bad. It's certainly more interesting than IndyCar racing, that's for sure. I don't like IndyCar racing that much, it's, it's a, <laughs> a little bit too dull. But NASCAR's quite fun. He would be the best. <laughs> Raikkonen. Yeah, he's not so bad, Raikkonen's not so bad. My favourite all-time driver of all time, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, is Ayrton Senna. I used to love that guy. Couldn't I was absolutely gutted when he when he uh, died, and I watched the race where he died. I was actually watching it at the time. Uh, racing was never the same when he died. That's pretty much when I stopped watching it. Not long after that, when him and Mansell used to battle it out, it was just the best times ever. It's just a shame that Schumacher was just getting into his stride when Senna died, because it's such a travesty that we was robbed of Senna and Schumacher going head to head. Such a travesty. Yep, my sound is weird in the menus. There's like this really weird whizzing sound that I can't quite work out. Will you ever play Battlefield? I'll play Battlefield 4 when it comes out. I'm not going to play 3 anymore. But yeah, I'm definitely going to play 4. Fallout New Vegas I have tried briefly, but I just don't have the time for those games anymore. The whole kind of MMO thing. I love MMOs. I'd love to play. Um, what's his face? Um, Elder Scrolls Online. I'd love to play that. If I was younger, I would pour myself into that game. But I just can't these days. I just can't do it. But I love stuff like Sky Skyrim. I absolutely loved. And the idea of taking Skyrim online just. Oh, yes. Ronnie Peterson could have been one of the great Formula 1 drivers had he not died. I don't really know much about him, actually, so I can't actually comment on that. 1,000 viewers. It says 988 on mine. War Thunder is... I said, I said I'd consider War Thunder if they unbroke the economy. I read the patch notes for the latest patch. It looks like they've broken it even more. I think they've reduced the price for planes, but they've added on so much crap and they start you off with a is it a start you off with an average plane and you have to bolt new pieces onto it essentially they're just giving you loads more ways of, of uh, giving them money and uh, it's just become bullshit there's a difference between a pay to win game a pay to win <laughs> a pay to play game requiring you to to fund it and just being out and out money grabbing pay to win so I don't think I'll be I can't see me visiting War Thunder anymore sadly never say never but uh, right now it's not going to happen 1080p 1080p on what? I'm streaming at 720 bit of retarder down there just to uh, stop it from speeding up 26 tons going down a hill that's a lot of momentum 
Can you do the donate in GBP? I'm not good at converting it to US dollars. Uh, no, you can only donate in dollars, but if you go to www.xe.com, that's xe.com, that's a currency exchange website, and you can easily convert currency from there so you can see how much money is what. So if you want to go from GBP to dollars or back, it's dead easy there. Just go to xe.com. Squirrel bomb. Uh, so we squirrel bomb Sacral the other day, and it kind of went horribly wrong. <laughs> there were a few people who uh, got a little bit too excited, and they kept shouting squirrel, squirrel, squirrel loads of times, and it kind of spoiled it a little bit. So I think before I stream bomb somebody else, we're going to have to be very clear about what I expect to happen when we stream bomb someone because I don't really want a repeat of that. Uh, it was just too much. People were spamming Squirrel and it, it got really... It got really... Um, not upsetting, but it, it, it... You know, it's not something that I liked. And if it's going to happen, I'm going to not stream bomb anymore, basically. Because the idea of a stream bomb is to go in there and obviously the guy streaming likes what happens, not kind of goes, for the love of God, can you please get lost and stop spamming Squirrel at me? So, we shall see. I'm not going to stream, any, stream bomb anybody tonight, but... We will have to have a talk about that next time. I can't donate bullcrap. That's not very nice. What the fuck?! Seriously?! Why was he driving at me on the wrong side of the road, for God's sake? No, we won't do a squirrel bomb. What is the scariest game you've ever played? Uh, never really been scared by many games, but I'd have to say um, Amnesia. It's not scary. It's it's mentally kind of scary. It's it's like the difference between a horror and a thriller. It's not an out and out horror with its blood and guts, but it's a thriller. It really kind of puts you on edge. Particularly if you played at midnight with the lights down and play Amnesia with your head. Fuck off! What on earth is going on? That's the second guy within a mile to be on the wrong side of the road. And luckily, f I managed to stop. Holy shit! Do you know what? If I was a real truck driver, I would get out of my truck and go and have words. That is insane. They're trying to damage my truck, aren't they? Do you remember the last stream I did? Do you remember the last stream I did? And, and a truck driver rear-ended my trailer and did 50% damage. If you watched that one, the last one, it was in the Iveco, I think it was. It feels like that all over again. These guys are trying to have a head on smash and smash the daff up. Do you think... I could understand it if I was in the Renault. I could understand the AI trying to head head on smash my Renault. It would make sense then. Even they're upset by the Renault, but a DAF? It's not so bad in a DAF, is it? I didn't think. SCS really need to write some code on that AI. It's not easy writing AI code. I mean, I have done it. When I did computer science at uni, we did a AI course like for a year an entire module on artificial intelligence and it is actually quite difficult you hate the DAF more than the Renault <laughs> it's a what is it a DAF XL super or something can anybody remember what it was I've got 900 kilometers left and half a tank just over half a tank whoa that's a sharp bend I don't think I'll, I'm, I'm not going to fill up here. We'll fill up later. If I can find a rest stop later where I can rest and fill up, that'll be uh, the best thing. SCS is reworking the AI entirely. And rightly so. Absolutely. They really need to. They've probably watched some of the videos. Like him. Why did he just suddenly stop then? The lane merging and the lane joining is just awful. 
but I do hope they take my advice on board and they try and make it so that the um, the actual the actual other drivers are different with different characteristics because at the moment they all just drive in exactly the same way and I don't want that I want some fast some slow some aggressive some passive hello where are you going pal you know, do you like overtaking around the blind side of a bend on the outside of a truck do you think that's a healthy situation it could go so horribly wrong for you <laughs> 